In AppSheet, the filter function is a powerful tool that lets you control what data appears in a drop-down box based on specific conditions. This means you can dynamically narrow down choices for your users, making your app more intuitive and efficient. To demonstrate its power, we'll walk through a step-by-step -step demo on how to implement this functionality. Tables and input values. First, we need to set up our data in AppSheet. We'll create three tables for this tutorial. You can do this by connecting to a spreadsheet like Google Sheets or by creating tables directly with an app sheet. Table 1. This table will hold our broad classifications. Create a new table and name it Categories. Add a column named Category Name of Type Text. Input data into this table. Table 2. This table will contain the items we want to filter. Create another new table and name it Products. Add the following columns. Product name, type, text. Set this column as the key for the products table. Category, type, text. We'll change this to ref later, but it will reference the categories table. Price, type, number. In stock, type, yes, no. Input data into this table. Table 3. This is our main transactional table where the user will interact with the filtered dropdowns. This table will be where we apply the filter function. Create a final new table and name it Purchase. Add the following columns. Purchase ID, type text, often set as the key with an unique ID initial value. Category, type text. This will be our driving dropdown, a ref to categories. Product name, type text. This will be our filtered dropdown, a ref to products that gets filtered. Quantity, type number. Date, type. Date with today, initial value. For the purchase table, you won't input values manually at this stage, as the user will be adding records through the app. We just need the structure. Step two, set up your input view. Now that our data is ready, we need a place in our app sheet application where users can interact with these categories and products to make a purchase. This will be a form view specifically for the purchase table, which allows users to add new purchase records. Ensure you have this view configured in your AppSheet app's UX settings. Step 3. Configure the driving column, the category column in the purchase table. This step links the category selection in our purchase form to our categories table, allowing it to drive the filtering of products. In the AppSheet editor, navigate to data columns, select your purchase table, find the column named category, change its type from text to ref, reference. When you select ref, a new option will appear. Source table. Set this to your categories table. This establishes the relationship, telling AppSheet that values in this category column in the purchase table refer to entries in the categories table. Step four, configure the filtered dropdown, the product name column in the purchase table. This is where we apply the filter expression to make our product name drop-down dynamic based on the selected category in the purchase form. Still in data columns for your purchase table, find the column named product name. Set its type to ref, reference. We're setting it to ref because product name in the purchase table will refer to an actual product in the products table. Set its source table to products. Now, locate the valid if property for the product name column. Click the pencil icon to open the expression editor. Enter the following expression into the editor. Code snippet. Filter. Products. Category equals underscore this row category. Let's break this down. Filter. Products. This instructs AppSheet to look specifically at the products table to get the options for this dropdown. Category. This refers to the category column within the products table. Example, the category of each product equals. This is a comparison operator checking for equality. Underscore this row. Category. This is crucial. Underscore this row refers to the current row in the purchase form you are filling out. So underscore this row category means the value currently selected in the category column on this purchase form. In essence, this expression tells AppSheet, show me a list of product name references from the products table but only for those products where their category matches the category that has just been selected in the category dropdown on our purchase form. Step 5. 
Test your application. Now, it's time to test if our dynamic dropdown works as expected. Save your changes in the App Sheet Editor. Make sure the green All Changes Saved message appears. Open your App Sheet application. You can use the emulator in the App Sheet Editor or sync the app to your mobile device. Navigate to the Purchase form, example if you created a new record form for your purchase table. First, interact with the Category dropdown. Select a category, for example, Electronics. Next, click on or open the Product Name dropdown. You should now observe that the list of products displayed is only the products that belong to the electronics category. Example, laptop, smartphone, instead of the entire list of all products. That's it. You have successfully implemented a dynamic, filtered dropdown in AppSheet. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts about the video in the comments.